Hey everyone, uh, my name's Andy. My channel's Finding Value. If you guys like making money, join this community and click the subscribe button. If you like this content, click the thumbs up button. Help me out. I'm gonna respond to a question. I think it's an excellent question. The question is by Nick. His name is, or he says, hey Andy, just wanted to comment on the inflation aspects you brought up in the video. I've been a big time bull on silver and gold miners in the next decade, more so on silver. You raised the idea that inflation will cause the metal prices to rise and also the operating costs of the miners. Therefore, royalty companies are the way to go, which I'm not really bashing. I'm just taking it all into all consideration. However, why then are you bullish on uranium miners? Yes, the spot price of uranium will keep rising and the miners will finally be profitable. However, inflation will definitely impact their operating costs as well. And of course, you can't physically own uranium and the uranium royalty companies are out there are minimal, but you can, of course, see the same issue with inflation for the uranium miners. And the reason I bring it up, what are your thoughts on this? Great question. That's, that's number one. Thank you for asking it. Here is the differences. And, and, and it deals with understanding the ratios. So gold is your gold standard. So if you have a gold mining company, their input costs are gonna rise faster than the price of gold. And, and this is how, this is why. You have a gold to oil ratio. That ratio right now is at 40 to one. One ounce buys 40 barrels of oil. That, I'm gonna step back. We have inflation coming. Inflation's coming from the real estate market. That is how money gets released into the system is through residential real estate. That's 50% of commercial bank lending. This inflation is gonna be pushing our investments upward. It's gonna push gold upward, but it's also gonna push all your input costs upward. The gold to oil ratio is at 40 to one. At the end of this inflationary period, it's gonna go below 10 to one, but we'll just call it 10. That means that gold goes up on a one to one basis because it's gold but your input costs of oil and gasoline and all those costs, at least the oil costs, did a 4X against gold. So your input costs went up at a faster rate than what you're selling. So on a gold specific mining company, you're not gonna outperform in this environment. That's why the royalty companies that don't deal with the uh, input costs are preferable to me in the precious metal space. Now, how does this affect uranium? Uranium's a different ball game. Uranium's at a 60 to one ratio. So 60 pounds of uranium to one ounce of gold is what it's priced at right now. That at a top, my guess is gonna be, let's, we'll call it a five to one ratio. That is roughly what it's done in the past. Some went to three to one, but let's just call it five to one. That means that Uranium against gold went up 12 times. Oil only went up four times. So you're outperforming oil on a 3X basis. So uranium is going to outperform everything because of its large move against gold. That's what makes it an ultimate bet and why it's so important to understand ratios and the leverage you're getting to other assets. So the way I see it, and this is my opinion, is that gold and natural, uh, or uh, sorry, natural gas and oil are excellent investments because that's what's going to outperform against gold over this period. The other outperformance, if you step back, is you've got your, your outperformance of uranium against oil, which is all against gold if that makes sense. Now, silver is a different play. That's not a gold play. Silver will outperform because you're leveraged. That 60, 70, well, it's like 71 or 72 ounces to one ounce gold will compress. Now you're betting how much is that compression going to happen and what is the compression of, of oil against gold? If oil's doing a 4X, I think it's possible that silver could beat a 4X, which means that it would go up. The safer bet here is to play it with the royalties though, and to buy the physical commodity because you don't have the input costs. The input costs are rising at a 4X if it's oil. That's, that's a portion of their input costs. Now it's not gonna be directly 4X, but it's gonna be a portion of their input costs. And if you look at silver, it may or may not beat that 4X. A, a 4X on, so if it's 40 to one, it would have to go all the way down to 10 
So it's possible that it could beat it. it could, it's possible that some of these silver mining companies could beat the, 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 the gain of oil and their input costs. So they could go up and EXK in the last bull market did beat it. That's one of the companies that I, that I was watching. So uranium will beat it. it it's a, that's a great, great bet. I, I own a lot of uranium companies. I am diversified amongst them. I'm spread out and I'm ready to go. Um, and I would suggest that you guys look into that as well as a, as a play in the commodity bull market. Royalty companies is where I'm really loading up because I don't have to deal with the mining costs. Because if, if, if copper doesn't or nickel doesn't outperform, I don't have to deal with the underperformance because I got the royalty which is tied to the price of the commodity and the quantity that's produced. Does that, does that make sense? I'm, I'm literally taking the oil compression against gold out of the play and I'm playing the commodities directly with leverage. That's why I like them so much. Uranium's a completely different play because that's leveraged more so against gold than oil is and that is where you get your purchasing power gains. That's one of the commodities that's different. So hopefully you guys understand this. If you are still trying to figure this out, leave a bunch of comments in the comments section. This is probably one of the most important things to understand about your investments is how you're leveraged against other assets. And if that leverage isn't there, if, you, if it's a fictitious leverage, if you think gold's, the gold mining companies are gonna outperform, I think you're gonna be drastically disappointed when it doesn't happen like that. I was when I was in some of these companies during that last bull market. The, the mining companies do exceptionally well on the front half because oil is low. Its ratio is still very cheap when things crash. Gold takes off first and you get you net that entire move when oil's super low. So their input costs drop at the same time the commodity goes up that they're selling, gold. So they do exceptionally good on the front half. And I think we're coming up to an inflection point very quick where they're gonna start underperforming. And that's why I'm loading into royalty companies and uranium companies and oil and gas companies. That's why you see me talking about acquiring Antero Resources, SWN, Birchcliff Energy, Crew Energy. You're, you're, you're seeing me accumulate in all these uranium companies, uranium, uh, natural gas, uh, oil, and I'm buying royalty companies to cover my, my ASS if those mining costs come up and when oil and natural gas and all these other input costs go moving higher. So if you guys understand this, that's great. If you don't, leave comments and I will do more videos to make this as crystal clear as I can. I'll even do slides if you need slides uh, to better understand this. This is extremely important because when you're constructing your portfolio, you have to understand this stuff inside and out. I've looked at this, this stuff from many different angles and I understand it pretty well. So let me know if this makes sense. Thank you for, for watching. Subscribe if you guys like making money and click the thumbs up button if you like this content. Thank you.